Well, good afternoon. Lovely to be with you. Uh, as Andrew has said, I have a South African background. I have a fine arts degree at the University of Witwatersrand uh, in Johannesburg. And um, uh, why did I do that? Because I love art. I've always enjoyed art. Uh, and then went on to teach art. Came to this country, having met my wife to be, and have taught art and religious studies in Bristol at Colson School in Stapleton. Um, and uh, I, uh, after I retired from being a teacher and having put a lot of creative energy into the teaching of art, I kind of have neglected my own artistic gifts. Uh, just before I go on, put up your hand, those of you who dabble in a little bit of watercolor or drawing or something, I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, at least eight of us. And I joined a class of sort of dabblers uh, led by somebody who really is a good teacher. And I said, I just want to come along with the discipline of 10 to 12 on a Wednesday so that I've got to set aside time to do some art. And he didn't try to teach me, he just allowed me to dabble and explore. And one day, uh, I picked up this bit of white paper and I got my acrylics all sorted out and I started dabbling. I didn't quite know where it was going to go. But, you know, we talk much about God as creator. And when we've got a bit of white paper in front of us, we become little gods, as it were, and it's quite daunting. We can create in a good or a bad way. And sometimes it comes out completely rubbish. And sometimes you think, oh, uh, that's a bit stiff, and it's too lifelike, or not lifelike enough. Well, on this particular day, I got rather excited by some of the effects that the acrylic paints were starting to achieve and dabbled more and eventually it became a kind of a seascape and uh, I worked into it a bit more to try and focus certain aspects like perhaps a sunrise here and, and so on and so forth. Little did I know that it was going to land up being a book cover design. <laughs> and it's not very often in my life that the two aspects of my life, my love of art and my love of the Lord uh, and, and speaking and preaching and, and Christian worship, would kind of come together. So thank you, Andrew, for asking me for some of these designs. Thank you, Luke, for for you and your designer for just giving me the most thrilling moment when Andrew sent through the post the design and I just thought, wow, I really love that. It's, it's more than my picture and, and it's enhanced my picture and given it so much more meaning. And of course, with a semi-abstract, you can see what you like in it. You know, one of the people who's responded to Andrew and sort of all the ideas of deep minds and, and all sorts of things, which of course in reality, and you can have a look at it, they're just dribbles of blue paint. <laughs> um, and they, they were intentional dribbles, they didn't have my accident, I was happy for them to dribble. Um, but isn't creativity a wonderful gift? And isn't it wonderful when in some small way we can use our little bit of a gift to in some way glorify God and uh, so it's a tremendous pleasure for me to be here today to celebrate with you all uh, this this wonderful book and of course having done the, the art design uh, Andrew kind of gave me a copy of the book and I proceeded to read the sermons and I read one a day for the next, whatever it was, 40 days. And I found them so relevant and interesting and absorbing. It was an absolute pleasure to read through them all. So uh, I've got great benefit, uh, not only by the cover, but by the contents of, of the book. So thank you for that. Well, I don't know if I've had three points.
points in this little thing that I've said, and I don't know if there's been a direction. And I don't know if Alison was here and this would say, well, you need three points and you need to have a clear sense of where you're going. Um, I just kind of witted on, and I hope that you vaguely kind of got the sense of direction. And uh, isn't it wonderful to celebrate our Creator God, His wonderful gifts to us, and the final point, what do you think it is about art that I love most? And you look at this picture, and the answer is colour. <laughs> colour. Isn't colour a wonderful gift? Colour in nature, colour in one another, colour in our decoration, etc., etc. So a celebration of colour uh, is, is something that I enjoy particularly.